glorious Monday. It's a Monday. Yes, it's me. You made it through the whole weekend without me. I know it's hard. So anyone here watch Real Housewives? And I don't mean the TV show. I mean actual housewives through their kitchen windows. Mm. I kid, I would never do such a thing, would I? Maybe. But the progressives at the Working Families Party are launching their newest goal to radicalize the fans of the Real Housewives franchise. The goal is to organize the fan base to embrace woke beliefs. Yeah, how does that work? How do you organize people who believe a skinny girl martini is a healthy breakfast? <laughs> now, remember, when you hear someone say organize, it's not in the typical definition. It's not like helping you get your taxes in order or alphabetizing your record collection or placing your meds on a shelf that cat can't reach. <laughs> yeah, uh... <Aww. laughs> Organized means radicalize, which is hilarious because the least organized person on earth is a radical. That's why they boycott businesses instead of running them. There's a reason looting doesn't start at 7 a.m. But this is a new left-wing thing called fandom organization in which groups infest social media streams and litter them with left-wing platitudes. But it's funny trying to radicalize people who watch Real Housewives. To do what exactly? That from now on, you only throw biodegradable wine glasses at each other? I don't think these guys watch Housewives. In case, <laughs> in case you have never watched Real Housewives, here's a taste. Prostitution whore, you are a f***ing date, 19 times, you a stupid bitch! I love that so much, but all that wasted wine. <laughs> Julie Banderas would be attacking them with a sponge. <laughs> <laughs> But maybe what really would help those people is a strong dose of communism. It's gotta be cheaper than Botox. Watch five minutes of those shows and you'll think, hmm, maybe the Taliban has the right idea. <laughs> I don't mean that for a second. <laughs> maybe. So how will they wokeify the wives? These are women who think following the science means another facelift. And they already dress like drag queens. But the left are gonna build a following on their Instagram pages, create memes and reels that connect the Real Housewife fans with progressive politics. And only progressives could come up with that mismatch. Take something shrieking, mindless, loud, and stupid, and then pair it up with the Real Housewives. <laughs> but this is necessary, given the Housewives are rife with white supremacy, true, according to the Huffington Post, where writers are as dumb as a post, they cite as proof that a housewife's friend once used the okay sign. And that is not okay because it's a white power symbol. Mm, tell it to these folks here, huh? Yeah. That's the best part. It's the best part of white supremacy. You get to hang out with all these amazing black people. <laughs> but what about people who just want to watch their favorite trashy show without getting clobbered with clumsy, stupid, woke well, you're part of the story. You're part of the problem. Because everything changed with evil Donald Trump. Once he won in 2016, people could now ask others who they voted for. And it was a moral crime if you admitted to backing the orange Godzilla. Your private choices were now open for public condemnation. And it went from voting to vaccines, which created more busybodies than antibodies. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I like this audience. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> It's like they're sampling soup. <laughs> In every facet to life, things took a political turn, meaning when lefties lose an election, then they come after you. Politics is now more personal than your hygiene. And because the woke are miserable, they need to spread the misery everywhere. They don't have a life outside of politics. 
They are, for the most part, sour, unhappy, smug little creeps who were that way in high school. So as adults, they hung out with like-minded people to fill the void in their miserable personal lives. Thus, the progressive movement was born. And now, like corn syrup, they want politics integrated into everything. They believe every single part of life is open to political influence, as long as it only comes from them. Now it's in schools, sports, and entertainment, and now they want to target fan bases. I'd like to see this sp spread, see how it goes. You know, try NASCAR, because there's nothing a NASCAR fan loves more than a good education on race and LGBTQ issues. <laughs> you know, while they're watching an actual race. Those cars may make nothing but left turns, but the fans certainly aren't going to. Mm -hmm. Bottom line, people watch the housewives as trashy escapism, and political crap bleeding into those shows would only ruin it. Oh, hi, Becca. I'm so surprised to see you here tonight. I thought you'd be at home reviewing the Q3 GDP reports from the Bureau of Economic Analysis. Uh, excuse me, bitch? Why would Denise say that? She knows the strength of the US dollar can influence midterm elections, especially when it pertains to the European markets. Oh, this coming from the whore who routinely overestimates the employment rate. Whore? <laughs> well, at least I'm still married to my belief in representative bicameral legislature. Whatever. Oh my god, is that Sharon? <laughs> she is a nightmare. I heard that she thinks the Constitution was created and ratified on the same day. <laughs> What a slut! Let's a welcome tonight's guests. He's produced more cheers than your local pep squad. TV writer and producer Rob Love. She breaks southern stereotypes like a southerner breaks chickens' necks. Fox Business anchor Dagan McDowell. This Halloween, he's going as a successful husband and father. <laughs> Actor, writer, and comedian Jamie Lissau. And for trick or treat, she'll be handing out Tide Pods. Fox News contributor Cat Toom. <laughs> You know, I didn't realize this, Rob, but you are actually the original model for the world's happiest hobo. Yeah, I am. I'm the world. <laughs> this, uh, yes, I'm the world's happiest hobo. <laughs> yes, and I, I have told you, I have described you in print recently as a giggly pepper pot. I feel that mm -hmm. way. Is I pepper pot about my weight? No, no, just your whole vibe. Mm. Oh, wow, that's great. Spicy. Yeah, I, I guess that's okay. I think it's not okay, actually, but it's, uh, <laughs> it sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> Now, you're in the entertainment world. Uh, is this a wise move? No, it's never wise to, uh, first of all, it's not wise for two reasons. It's never wise to take something really uh, trashy and amoral and try to load some other meaning onto it. It's always a mistake. Mm -hmm. But also, like, um, you know, they're, they are ambulatory psychotics, these real housewives. <laughs> and so now they're going to do it, they want to do something, marry ambulatory psychotics with a, you know, a television show about politics. Mm -hmm. We already have that. It's MSNBC. Mm. It exists. <laughs> Nicely done. You don't ever try to do two things at once. Yeah, that's true. It'd be funny to pull the reverse and then embed, like, kind of left-wing areas with common sense. What do you think of that, hobo man? <laughs> well, I have to set down my bindle and think about it. <laughs> yes. But yeah, I feel like that could uh, that no that would. It's, what's the why are you doing that? It's like yeah. It's like uh, it's like you. It's like I'm gonna have a a, a, a pizza and a salad. No, you're not gonna have the salad. That's a great. I just point. Have the junk food you're gonna have. Enjoy it. That's a great point. Dagan, do you watch these shows or do you live these shows? Oh, I live these shows. Yes. <laughs> but I admit that because I'm of an age where I don't need a man and I don't want to get laid. <laughs> um, because if you're talking to a potential hookup or get down about the real housewives, that's like saying, I haven't washed my nether region <laughs> since Labor Day. Mm. Actually, eye watering. She means back, but anyway, yeah. go ahead. Eye watering body odor is less repellent than talking about my favorite housewife mm -hmm. when you're on a, on a date. 
But I view this, this is the worst match of yeah. a left-wing liberal group with a series shows that display consi conspicuous consumption right. and riches. Inst like, instead of, like, the working families party, this is the how to find a rich old coot who's about to kick it party. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like this show is the opposite of that. We are injecting drinking gossip and stupidity into politics. Hmm. I think it's worked. But you are a rich old coot about to kick it. Yeah, so that in is that true. sense, you bring it together. That is true. He's not close enough. Well, yeah, that's right. Give me a couple of years. If I'm lucky, Jamie, take me from this cruel world. Oh, well, I agree with Dagan. I don't need a man either. Yeah. <laughs> But, I, but I you disagree. want a man. I, yeah, I disagree. <laughs> You're right. I disagree with the second part of what you said. Um, I'd never seen this, a minute of this show, a yeah. second of this show, until you just played it. Mm. Dude, what do they do when there's no cameras? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Do they murder each other? Yeah. <laughs> like, what was... That was insane. I don't need to watch stuff like this. If I want to watch something like this, I could just picture scenes from the last few years of my marriage. <laughs> 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 it's true, actually. I, the, my, my other thing is, I don't, um, there are a couple of things, but it's like, I don't know, I, I think it's weird. I, I did kind of wake up this morning like, man, I wish there was one more reason not to watch The Real Housewives. <laughs> I didn't feel like 11 was enough. Um, isn't it crazy, though, it's on, this is on the Bravo network. If this becomes a series, it will be on Bravo. Bravo means, like, something you want more of mm -hmm. and you're excited about. This should be on a network called Boo! <laughs> <laughs> Or maybe Boo Plus. Yes, Boo Plus. Because <laughs> that's the opposite of Bravo. <laughs> See what he did there? <laughs> ah, that's comedy, my friends. Hi, Kat, how are you? I'm great. Good, good. You had a, a long day today <laughs> flying back from Denver. Well, yeah, I went to a concert last night. Yes. And it was in Denver. Yes. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Yeah, good for you. Do you. Are you worried that this could detract from the enjoyment of this highly sophisticated brand? I know that you're a regular watcher. I don't, actually. Oh, Not okay. this one. I don't watch this one. But I actually did some research in this uh. group. They, they say, OK, we are pr pretty anti-capitalist, in parentheses, which we know, yeah, isn't for everyone, <laughs> which is true. And I bet the top of that list would be women who are on a show because they're so rich and so obnoxious about it. Yes. Like, I've never watched it, but I, so I was going through like some of what the most famous quotes and catchphrases are. I did not have to scroll very far before I saw, I am very rich bitch. Yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> sounds pretty capitalist to me. Well, I guess you could argue that maybe they're the ones that need most of this education. I don't think they're interested. No, I don't think so either. You know, I, I zoned out. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Oh, you are the world's sweetest hobo. <laughs> you know what? Just for that, you get to sleep in my shed. Hey. Oh, wow. God, Not... what, what would happen if you were mad at me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice drunk, real housewives, mean drunk. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.